IBC Commissioners Paul Kurgat and Margaret Machanya have revived their attacks on Commission Chairperson of Fula Chibukati, blaming his alleged incompetence and dictatorship for their April resignation and the internal wrangles that also saw Commission CEO Ezra Chiloba sacked. The commissioners were appearing before the National Assembly Public Accounts Committee for an ongoing probe of a 9 billion shillings tender during last year's polls. For close to a year now, the Wafula Chebukati-led electoral body IEBC has been on the spotlight over key procurements preceding the acrimonious 2017 polls. Among these, a procurement tender of up to 9 billion shillings, documented by the Auditor General in his 2016-2017 financial year report. And after the blame game between Chebukati and former CEO Ezra Chiloba, I, Margaret Mwachanya, Monday was the turn of former commissioners Margaret Mwachanya and Paul Kurgat. But first, queries on their controversial April resignations, alongside former Vice Chair Consolata Minor. Uh, if procedures are not followed, uh. and uh, we are commissioners, we had been sworn in to come and follow procedure, uh. Uh, then I thought we were making too much noise, uh. and uh, therefore the trust of the people of Kenya was slipping out of our hands. The matter about resignation actually was not part of what I thought I'll come to discuss, and I would beg that this matter is in the courts, and Which matter is in the court? About my resignation. We aren't aware about that. It is in the court and the judgment is 7th, this Friday. This 7th? Yeah. Among the queries facing the IEBC is the flawed procurement of Kebs kids for last year's polls through a direct contract to French firm Safran Identity and Security. Mwachanya, Kurgat and Maina would subsequently blame an internal audit commissioned by Chebukati on procurements in ICT among key reasons for their resignation. Because you know the law of procurement. Yes. If it can be shown to you yes. that one particular person yes. is the one who can produce that product, yes. then perhaps you would have agreed to have direct procurement. Is that what you are saying? In my hand, I had uh, Auditor General's report of the previous year. Mm. And he had questioned uh, such a procurement. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, can we first of all see the process? We don't want to be questioned after this. I want you to comment on this feeling. Not really feeling, it's now like kind of reality. That the commission, as it were, or the commissioners, went beyond their, board, their boundaries. When they, when they uh, engaged in uh, matters procurement. Personally, I don't think I was involved what we call individually when it came to procurement. I only gave my guidance or my contribution or my, my observation in a plenary. We are going to buy equipment from one company called Safar Morpho. What, what, how can you, what do you describe that? How do you describe it? What do you say? What kind of, what kind of procurement is that? It is not direct. Procurement process had started earlier. Yes. And due to cases that were arising and uh, the, the procurement w kept on going forth and back, we, we actually ended up seeing that time was actually catching up with us and election had to go on. The committee has also probed acting CEO Majan Hussein, and is due to also summon companies cited in the audit report that did business with the commission during the polls. Murimi Mwangi, KTN News.